Friday Ravens, welcome to Aston on Air. I'm Jaden Cardwell. And I'm Trisha Weigel. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance or observe a moment of quiet reflection. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Here's what's trending. Tonight and tomorrow, the boys basketball team is participating in the Beth Haven Christmas Tournament. We face off against Bullet Central at 415 and Ryle at 745. Good luck. The archery team will not have practice today after school. The wrestling team will be competing at St. X tomorrow. The winter issue of the aerial is out now for students to pick up. You can get your own copy of the aerial in the front office, the counseling office, the library, or Miss Rice's room in room 222. The boys lacrosse team will be having a player parent meeting on January 10th at 6.30 in the auditorium. They will be discussing the upcoming season and team goals. Miss Elkins will be retiring at the end of this week. We asked her some questions about being at Atherton for 22 years. So my experience here at Atherton, I have been here for 22 years and it's been a great place to work. Um, I've seen a tremendous amount of students come through my gym. Um, it's just been a a very easy, uh, fun-loving place to work. It's you know it's provided me with a great career. Um, I hope that when I left leave here that you know I've left some sort of legacy. You know hopefully people have developed healthy habits and they continue to develop healthy habits, whether it's walking or archery or biking or skating. Um, so um, you know my experience here has been just a, a great ride. Uh, made a lot of great friends. Miss Patty was my first friend here uh, when I came here. She she coached cheerleading and then I took over the cheerleading squad. So that's how we met and we maintain a very tight friendship to this day. We go travel. So uh, those plans will continue. We will, we will continue to plan many trips and go out together. Um, the faculty here has been great, very supportive. Um, it very much felt like a family my entire career here and you know, I'm sad to leave. I'll be sad to leave some of some of the things, but I won't be sad to leave my alarm clock and I won't be sad to to be in a big, loud, busy gym. So but it's it's been a great ride and I have really enjoyed my time here. Let's head to Brianna for the word of the day. Stereotype. Generalizations made usually about a group of people based on only a few samples, observations or instances. Atherton's choir performed at the Retired Teachers Luncheon a few weeks ago. Let's see how it went. Well, this is our Retired Teachers Group in Jefferson County, and I've been a member for 10 years, and we this is our Christmas uh, meeting today. So, enjoying getting to see friends and enjoying fellowship. Favorite part about today was that I got to see a lot of people that I haven't seen in a very long time, like a lot of elementary school teachers, middle school teachers. So Ms. Cumbledge uh, was also a teacher at Seneca High School, and um, but we have crossed paths many times. We grew up in Lexington. I went to Bryan Station and she went to Takes Creek. Takes Creek. <laughs> we were both in all-state choir together, but we didn't know each other at the time. It was really weird. And we're the same age. Although, she looks older than I do. <laughs> I am older, but she looks older. <laughs> My favorite part was seeing all the people and singing along and have and seeing everyone's smiles on their faces. Oh, it was wonderful. You folks were outstanding. Perfection, and I love to hear the diction and how well you balance and blend your music together. It was, we look forward to it so much every year. Everybody looks forward to it. And this is a great audience. It's all retired teachers, and so we appreciate good talent. So. What a cool opportunity to participate in. We want to wish a happy birthday to Dylan O'Donnell, Jonas Cox, and to all who celebrate over the break. We would also like to wish a very special happy birthday to Miss Patty, who always greets us with a warm smile and wishes us a great day. The front office and all of us here at Atherton on air wish you a happy early birthday, Miss Patty. Well, that's all for Atherton on air. But before we go, let's hear a message from a special guest. Atherton students, you be good this year. Rock on, Ravens.